like, what? What is this? <laughs> Pathetic. She's so fat, she's so gross, she will never find love. Pathetic. The only one who can love this woman is the good lord up above the mountain. Pathetic. She will never change, she will always stay the same. Pathetic and insane. Pathetic. Belly scary, he no carry. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm jet lag. Hello, little gherkins. I'm editing this within just about an hour of disgusting dumbass Deborah finishing her live stream, and she's not getting jokes from me tonight. Let's get into this recap before I say something that will have me on the breezy ban. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta make eye contact with the camera so everyone knows your cat is still alive. I hope Chantal gets a hairball. Why would you hope for Canada? I don't understand that. No, Canada's done with. If you're hoping for me to go back, there's no hope. <laughs> I'm here. I'm Kuwait now. <laughs> Look at this food. Super cheap, fresh, delicious. I'm not going to always be just eating on the blue couch, but when I do lives, I mean, I don't know where else to go. So we're home and very exhausted. We got home yesterday. Yeah, she's back. Look at that dopamine hit from that rice rushing past her taste buds and straight down her throat. Eyes rolled back like the fat demon she is. Absolutely disgusting. Stay on the line? Because I was watching like a bunch of 911 calls and like um, crime videos where like the 911 dispatcher, like the person's like freaking out um, in the middle of a real emergency and they're asking like really questions that they must have a reason to ask. I don't know. But, and some of them are just so rude, like, they, they're just so desensitized to, like, um, you know, human tragedy, you know, it's kind of sad, but I don't know, I guess that was the inspiration behind it, just, like, a parody of that, you know, and people were like, oh, well, this is so insensitive. Like, the reaching just to, like, try to demonize my character more is just, like, insane. Oh, baby, we don't have to reach to see how flawed your character is. You put it on full display for us every time you open that mouth for any reason other than shoveling half a cup of rice into it. I'm, I, I am trying to avoid drama because it's not good for anybody. But do you guys remember um, before I came back to Kuwait, like before I, I moved out of the villa, everyone was freaking out, accusing, accusing me of starving BBJ. Meanwhile, if you put a side by side photo, like if you check my community post, she looks more starving <clears throat> in the witch's hair than ever with me. So, um, but nobody cares because it's not me, right? But anyway, what goes around comes around. I always say that and I'm always right about that. So, um, anyone who ever accused me of that, Please have several seats and shut it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Literally nobody, not even your VIBs, want to hear you rage about the fucking cats anymore. It's tired and you've said it all before. Eat more, talk less. I would be a good 911. No, I tried. I applied for a job there because they pay very well. But the amount of stress, they really, I was investigated by like police, like detectives during the interview. And they were like, so why did you leave your old job? And I was like, damn. Like they really grilled me to get me to, I don't know how they did it, but they got me to admit that I left one of my jobs because of stress. <laughs> But you know what, to be fair, it's, it's good that they do that because they don't want to hire the wrong people for that. Because Whoever said Chantal would be a great 911 operator needs to be put on a list. You weren't investigated by detectives. That's called a job interview. I know you're not that familiar with those. You admitted to quitting due to stress because you're an idiot. But thank God for that, because there's no telling how many lives would have been lost with your ass answering calls of people in an emergency. He didn't know where the cans were, but they always have crunchy food. And it was maybe like half a day or something before he found the wet food, like, they always have crunchies. The point is they weren't starving and they looked very well nourished compared to, you know, even animal control when they came, they said that. Now she looks actually emaciated, starving and suffering and she's being used for clout and bees, that's it. So I don't wanna hear any of that crap ever again. Then shut up about it. You're the one bringing this shit up constantly. We just wanna talk about how your stomach hides your thighs. That's the thing, like I'm always torn between, is it worth talking about things that people are literally like, like the things that she said were literally to try and defame my character. And I did lose a lot of support because of those claims. Literally verbally, like claiming I starved my pets for years and stuff like that, which is 100% false. So I'm torn between, do I, do I even address that or do I just ignore it? You know, I'm always torn between that. It's a hard, it's hard. 
Anyway, it's their karma, not mine. <laughs> whatever. I've come to terms with what happened and I'm moving on. Like, whatever. But I still want to point that out that, um, how are you going to try to defame my character and say that I was starving my cat? Just because uh, Pete didn't know where the can of wet food was for a few hours when they had crunchies. When she's clearly emaciated now in your care. Because you're an evil witch who doesn't care about the cat. And she like clearly likes her audience. I don't have the cat, but it's like sitting beside her dog. Moron. And it cries in her videos. Moron. So you know what? They just want to be... They, do, they don't care as long as they try to affect me or make me angry. You're not going to affect me. I always say that. Well, you seem pretty angry. And you just said you did lose a lot of support. So it looks like you are affected. Regardless... Does she not realize that there's a large part of the community that does not watch FFG, but still believes she is an animal abuser because of things they saw in Chantal's videos firsthand? As much as she wants to pretend people don't like her because of FFG, it's not the case. You have rosacea, probably. Yeah. My skin is not great, but I mean, I've been like stressing. I've been hot, sweaty, traveling. My skin is, and I haven't been using Lush, so maybe that's why. You don't clean your CPAP. You have poor hygiene. You eat grease-filled food. Your skin is gross because you're gross. Just ignore the Islamophobic nasty witch. Yeah. People are, like, trying to get me off of YouTube by saying I'm, like, being anti-Semitic when I say goblin. <clears throat> it's not because she's Jewish. It's because she looks like a goblin. And she's, like, a monster. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know. Like, if you Google goblin and you even go to the Wikipedia page, it said it's a mythical creature. There's nothing about anything about Jewish people in that. There is tons of information on the internet regarding the term goblin and anti-Semitism. The issue here is that you may not have meant it that way to begin with, but since you've been informed of the correlation, you repeat it more than any other insult. Typical for your hypocrite ass considering you cried Islamophobia over people calling Sala salad, which came from your Maud Lambo's typo. Anyway, since Chantal is so happy to be back home, she then spent her time raging on her community tab, starting with this post that said, when you have no better content to put out, then comment on how much rice someone's eating hashtag winning. Which could easily be countered by saying your content is nothing but you eating a bunch of rice. Anyway, of course she couldn't stop the cat raging, so we then got this post. Her cat hates her. You reaction channels are real crap. Stop lying and twisting things for content. You are all liars, it's insane. She's been glued to me since I came home. Insane how anyone thinks that crap is content. Why don't you talk about something relevant instead of how much rice someone eats or what their visa status is? Boring lives much? You must think it's content since you watch every second of every reaction channel video the minute it's put out. Which is proved with the next community tab post that said, Hey, French fried grifter, here's a pic of her being taken to get groomed as soon as we got home. Stop the lies. We regularly take her. Only one here who looks like an animal neglector and abuser is you. Why did you kill your second dog again? Because its grief was bugging you, and you had to go on drives to cry instead of taking the dog with you. Show the vet records for that, you hypocritical creature. Her fur is long and thick, and always looks like this no matter how much we brush and get her groomed. We don't owe you any explanation, Hanzira, until you explain why BBJ looks emaciated in your care, and why you put down your second dog, hypocrite loser. Get bent! Oh, and I included a pic of you so everyone can see who you have the nerve to call Beatus on anyone when you hide your twelve chins yourself. Idiot. Your fried ponytail is on too tight. If BBJ looks like that because of when she was in my care, compare the two pictures morons. Right one is in FFGS care, left one is in mine. I never put down my pets, and she did. Nothing wrong with that, though, if the pets are sick. Since 2017, any time BBJ was shown in my videos, she looked healthy and happy, so shut it. Last time I entertain your stupidity for your content. Now go live and discuss this for three hours, you squealing witch. This is honestly exhausting. I'm not even kidding. Recapping her raging about the cats is my least favorite shit to cover. It's never ending and the same tired ass arguments. I could sit here and post every clip of BBJ and Sam being neglected and in poor health, but we've done that a million times. It changes nothing, and Chantal just wants a reason to scream at FFG for exposing her with irrefutable evidence. Finally, we got this post that says, The real Chantal. Oh, you mean when I defend myself against someone coming for me first? Someone we thought was a friend but called me all kinds of names and threw us under the bus for clout and views? This is why these channels are crap. What you are showing is a provoked reaction by me, and you are leaving out the whole picture as usual. Chantal, you are 40 years old. Grow the fuck up and quit crying victim at every turn. 
If you don't like what the public has to say about you, get off the internet. Anyway, let's get into this shit show of a live she did tonight. I just wanted to be. I'm not coming on here to talk about drama. I'm not coming on here to talk about anyone in particular. I've said what I had to say on my community tab and I stand by that. I'm, I don't have to come on here and talk shit about people or try to cause shit to have something to talk about, mashallah. So that's not what I'm going to do. Um, I want to give all my attention to you guys. Well, this did not age well considering where this live is heading. Do I think the vet lied? How about they take her to the vet now? Like every single thing that was wrong with her is because she's fucking old, okay? Like, she has kidney disease, and she's, like, if you see pictures of her, she's suffering. All for your entertainment, all to piss me off, and I'm unaffected. You're not going to bother me. I've come to terms with what happened, but that doesn't stop me from pointing out your stupid hypocrisy. All right? If you want to suck the dick of somebody who's a dumbass and lying to you, that's your problem. Not mine. Yes, you seem totally unbothered. <laughs> Why are you in red? I like red. I love it. And, yeah, a little red riding hood. I still look a hundred times better than that fat goblin. Disgusting, ugly goblin. Ugliest person on the internet, so whatever. Don't even entertain them. That's what they want. They need it. They need it for content. They have no life. They have no life. They provoke you, and then when you act ugly back, they're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, too fucking bad. I'll say what I want. Like, if I want to defend myself once in a while, I will. Whatever. Whatever, Toys R Us. Here come the Islam police. I don't care. Is she a good Is she a good Jewish person? Does she do Shabbos? No, she doesn't. So kiss my ass. They're all seething with jealousy. They're so pathetic, because every single thing they predicted and their dumb conspiracies is wrong. I'm in Kuwait. I'm in Kuwait, bitches. What are you going to do? Huh? Ugh hate them. This rage isn't about FFG or the cats. Something happened behind the scenes, and you can't convince me otherwise. She's been raging since she got back to Kuwait, and the only way for her to express her rage while not giving away what's really going on is to do this. Anyway, I'm done venting. It's not worth it. I don't, I don't want to talk about, I don't want these stupid people in my space, like period. Oh, I'm aggressive, but her cackling like a witch for three hours, calling me a bitch and everything else and my mama whore is okay. Fuck her. She's got her karma with that. Goodbye. Yeah, I have every right to defend myself. I don't care if you're fucking bothered, then unsubscribe. I don't care. Go kiss her ass. I don't care. If anyone who was once a follower and supporter here is now over there, you never were a supporter, so goodbye. I don't care. Well, what old Chantal Mother D? I mean, I'm still Chantal, but I'm like, yeah, I'm, I've moved on in life, you know? I swear, like, people, like, 2,000 people who are in my chat are over there now because they fucking want me, they want to keep discussing the old miserable me where I was being abused and I was on drugs, and I was miserable. That's never gonna be my life again. Even even if I go back to Canada, I'm not taking my hijab off. I'm not going to go back to that life. Never, never, ever, uh-uh. I don't know. You still seem like the same old miserable Chantal to me. You're still a bitter, gluttonous, raging idiot. You just wear a hijab now. <clears throat> I've already explained BBJ's pads. Why did FFG kill her dog for anxiety? You people only focus on that. I've had the cat for 20 years, and this one incident was an oversight when I was away. Her nails grew long because she's fucking old. Sam's nails were fine. Okay, so shut the fuck up. They are toxic. They're gonna have no fucking channel soon anyway. Keep So enjoy this rage, rage while you can, because you're not gonna have a channel soon, bitch. You're not gonna have one. And if you think you're gonna get away with what you did with the cat, just watch, just watch. I am proud, Rhonda. I'm very happy where I am in life. I would rather die than go back to the life I had before. Thank you. Y'all know sometimes it's hard for us clip channels not to dig up old clips, and I had to just stop myself because, again, there's no point. We all know the truth and she won't change her narrative, but this seems way darker than the usual rages. This is a deep rage. I seemed happier in Canada? No, not at all. Not at all. I don't know what gave you that idea. I don't know what gave you that idea. I'm sure I could come up with some clips of me crying every other day. Do you guys forget that or what? Her life is you. You're living in a pasella and traveling around the world. Exactly. I don't exactly. Like the only thing she can do is go live and rage like a pig. She rages like a pig and then friggin' Miss Wig over there does it for free now. I love that for you. I'm not getting paid to be a friggin' piece of crap. Love it. Fucking disgusting. Disgusting people. You're not going to affect me. After this, I'm ignoring your asses. Goodbye. Keep raging about dumb shit you make up. People believe lies. None of it's true. Eventually, you're going to look stupid as fuck and your channel will be irrelevant. See ya. I can't wait for that day. So, is she still on the off-brand Thailand antidepressants? Goral, you might want to switch back to the Kuwait ones because this is a lot. The fashion show, yeah. I love how she's like, I'm at a fatty fashion show. Excuse me, ma'am. Every single fat woman, and you were fat too, egg on legs, every single fat woman there was so much prettier than you in every single way every single way better dress prettier face everything everything no she doesn't have a boyfriend imaginary she just lies like uh, uh, she's a fucking pathological liar when she, i was on the phone with her one day she told me she had like a black belt and in, in free uh, karate she's such an idiot she's one of those people who have like nothing so she tries to like assimilate her life to like bits of other people's lives like ugh. anyway coming from the woman that slapped on a hijab two days after meeting a man and that man also claims to have a black triple medal in kung fu this is great. <sighs> People miss the old you. 
well, that's good for them, you know, because when it was the old me, people were freaking out every day, giving me shit. You need to change your life. You need to get away from that asshole abuser. You need to stop the drugs. You know, I wish you would just do something else other than just sit there on wheelchairs. And now that I'm halfway across the world, happily married to somebody who's not an abusive piece of shit, now it's all, oh, we miss the old you and all crickets. Well, goodbye. I don't care. I don't care. I have no problem rebuilding an audience. I have no problem continuing to do me. And if you don't like it, I don't care. We can tell it totally doesn't bother you. Did you ever consider that the people that did support you left because of you constantly saying shit like this? Tell people to shut up and stop watching if they don't like something enough and eventually they will. When they said you better not go back to Kuwait because you install it, oh, they can friggin' go circle jerk. They're stupid. My skin is like blotchy, but whatever. I'm, I have to get some Lush. I have to get some Lush because like, you know. And I'm happy to hear that Lush stands with Palestine, so I'm definitely supporting them. Yeah, all of juice. Jealous. Oh, they can say, oh, why am I jealous of being 400 pounds? Ma'am, you're like 350, okay? So, and you're uglier, so what? I don't know. It's pretty people how grow, how some people have notes on everything Salah has ever said about his citizenship and dissect every word to try to make you the villain. Like, it's none of their business. Like, what's the big T here on citizenship? Who gives a crap? Like, really, no life. <laughs> like, zero life whatsoever. Get a, please get one. Well, maybe because immediately before meeting Salah and marrying him immediately, you titled a stream, Who Wants Citizenship? But yeah. No clue why people would speculate that he's with you for citizenship. Criticize my life all you want at the end of the day. I don't have to make content about other people to get a paycheck. I don't have to be on Twitter. I don't even have a Twitter. I'd be on Twitter all day, like coming up with stupid theories and like body shots of people without showing my own body. No, you have to gorge yourself on fast food to the point of immobility to make a living. If you don't have Twitter, how do you know every single thing that's said about you? I cry now. You don't get to see it. Sure. Where's your proof of that, Caitlin? Hmm? <laughs> Trust me, if I was unhappy with how I am, person, you would see some semblance of it. But keep trying. Keep wishing that, that someone would be crying. Makes you a nice person. Do you maybe mean how we're seeing this absolute rage and meltdown that came out of nowhere? So you're demonetized from one platform? So you're going to desperately go and try and talk about me and other platforms? Like, what's there to talk about? You are all more pathetic than me. Like... Let's analyze. You're living with your mother, and instead of taking your kid to the park, you talk shit about me. Enough said. I don't talk about politics, but I'm 100% in full support of Palestine. 100. You know, I was going to commend you the last time this came up for not speaking on sensitive topics that you clearly know nothing about. But of course you couldn't help yourself. Anyone talk about the political thoughts? <laughs> okay, we won't talk about politics. There's no proof of babies being decapitated. That's a lie. It's called propaganda from Western media. That's been debunked. I reposted that on my TikTok. Thank you very much. We have not seen one decapitated baby. No parents have come out and claimed that at all. So, brainwashed. I'm not saying that atrocities weren't committed, but, and I don't, you know, I don't like war, but at the same time, like, where was all this media attention whenever, you know, we have actual media proof of Palestinians being murdered. So let's just not even go there. Thank you. Do you mean like this video you reposted on TikTok? Warning headphone users, it's very loud. And now they have no food, no water, like, they've been living in apartheid for 75 years. Let's just say that. They will twist every word. I don't care. I don't care. Like, I've been canceled how many times by these idiots? I don't care. They don't know. They're probably so ignorant on the whole situation. They don't even know anything. Just like they're experts all of a sudden on Islam. Just like they're experts all of a sudden on Kuwait law. Just like they're experts. Like, they can shove it. I don't care. Bitch, you thought you would have to fly over Israel to get from Bangkok to Kuwait. You have a lot of opinions for someone who literally doesn't know where Palestine is. I've been watching for years and never once seen anything of why people are horrible to you. Thanks, Teardrop. Just because they're wrong about me and it makes them mad or because I defend myself so they gaslight and try to be like, see, I told you there's a reason why we can hate on her. It has nothing to do with her weight. Meanwhile, they fat shame me every time, every video. Like, okay, if it's not about my weight, then why comment on the size of my hands, you freaking moron? I can't believe that somebody who's responsible for raising children and shaping their morality bullies and fat shames women online. I can't believe it. You know, and then they say, don't talk about my kids. I'm not talking about your kids. I'm talking about your parenting and how you're responsible morally for another life when you bully other people online. That's concerning. I'm sorry. That's the truth. And it hurts. Well, eat it up. Because we point out that your hands resemble hamburger helper gloves that makes us bad parents. You know what? Let me just keep going before I talk about your mother. Your weight, my weight is none of your business, trifle. What does that have to do with anything? Every time someone gets mad at what I'm saying, you're fat. So who cares? So are you. <laughs> anyway, moral of the story, don't dish it out every day. I just think I'm just gonna sit there and like take your uh, your bullshit. I, I obviously I'm gonna call it out once in a while. You should. I have a right to defend myself. The thing is, is 
it's it's just it's not worth it like it's just like whenever they the classic saying is just ignore the trolls or haters it's true because with that like they, they live for attention right if they, you don't give them any they're completely invalidated and i would love nothing more than for them to just like have nothing to friggin chew on nothing no content nothing yet you still can't control yourself to not rage about it for days at a time if those channels you claim to hate didn't talk about you you would lose the drama what see these type of comments from idiots like this you should go to gaza like, no brains whatsoever. I could never. To be clear, because unlike Chantal would like you to believe, most of us do try to go by the facts only. Chantal was reading a super chat here. She was not telling anyone to go to Gaza. Nothing hates me more than you people hate yourself, and that's obvious. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, if I was them, imagine being FFG, would you not hate yourself? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. No, they don't, they don't get me down, Kina. The only thing that gets to me is the hypocrisy when that's when I rage and call it out. But I don't rage compared to how these people rage every day. That's what the hypocrisy is. It's like pretty ironic, wouldn't you say, that this person like will spend three hours on a live stream bitching and moaning the same thing. Anyway, she's like, honestly, like a good review away from losing her channel. Don't worry, it's coming. Boozing got demonetized. Um, Hamster with the weird fucking eyebrows got demonetized. FFG's next. See you. And believe me, when that happens, we're going to throw the biggest party and rub it in. Trust me on that. They got demonetized for not transforming their content. It has happened to many reaction channels, but it doesn't mean it's permanent. Many channels get monetization back on appeal. My hands look like the hamburger helper glove. Such an intelligent freaking comment, as usual. Imagine like, exactly, imagine one day just everyone loses interest in me whatsoever. Imagine having a channel where you have nothing else to talk about. Imagine you are not interesting enough as a person like to get any views on your own. Like, that's embarrassing. That's, that's gonna be a wake up call for sure. Comments like these really show how separated she is from reality. Our lives would go on. We would continue with our careers, our families, our hobbies, and our lives and be just fine. You, on the other hand, would lose everything. The fact that you think you'd survive without Goral World is laughable. That's right, Peachy. I'm prettier than 99% of Goral World. That's for sure. Stunning. How you treat others will come back to you. I don't understand. People being mean to strangers, it's only their karma. I know, exactly, like her channel getting demonetized, definitely her karma. These people don't think that it's gonna come back to, to you know, they always wait for my karma. Hi, Sophia, what karma for what? Defending myself? I mean, really? Really? Uh, Cuba rage, they always bring that up. It's funny, it's funny, it's funny, because then again, I explain, I was very drunk, okay, sure, that's my responsibility, but I was also at a time in my life where I just was like, went through the worst crap I ever, one of the worst times in my life of being manipulated and abused by people. And like, you know, so what? Like, that was like, how long ago? So exactly, like, I'm sorry. That's why I'm not reaping what I sow, because I don't do that to people. I don't have a channel about other people making lies about them. I didn't steal anyone's pets. So, yeah. You spend 90% of your lives talking shit about fat-shaming reaction channels and their personal lives and parenting. You do the same shit we do. You just record yourself eating in between. Yeah, I've never claimed my life to be perfect. I've never claimed to be a role model for people. I'm not responsible for what your children watch. I've never claimed to be an angel or a saint. I mean, obviously, you know, I still have my issues. No one is free from sin. No one is free from being a, a bad person at times. Um, <clears throat> and everyone has their limits, you know, like, but thank you. Yeah, I mean, overall, I do try to do what's good. I try to stay away from, you know, involving that crap on my channel because it's like poison. It really is. And I know that's a, a big reason that my channel hasn't gotten to 100K yet because like, you know, um, I'm not consistent with it, but I'm also just like too negative sometimes. I, I allow it to get to me and I fully, I fully acknowledge that. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. Like I know, I know, <clears throat> but again, like sometimes I can't help it because it's just too hard to ignore sometimes, you know? ABCD, good point. In this part of the world, we don't target people like the way it's happening in her world over and over and talk shit, being racist, insulting. You don't see it. You don't see it, babe. That's why I like living in this part of the world. Like it's, it's different, you know, like <sighs> it is really different. Yeah. Like, those hate channels wouldn't exist here, for sure. You are literally in that part of the world doing it right now. Salah's own friends have come out specifically to talk shit about you and expose you. The channels exist there, and yours is one of them. When you have a hot mess past, you can't expect the people who know about it were around when it happened to not hate you. What? But, like, anything I've done in my life has no effect on them. And, it, it, and that past has been over for, like, a year, year and a half now. So where does it end? It doesn't, because they were making good money off of my messy past. And now that it's not messy, they have to try to make a mess because they don't want to, they don't want to go get a effing job, you know? And you can say, well, you don't work either. Yeah, I do. I entertain people. Okay. Whether it's eating and talking, it doesn't matter. It's my content and I don't affect other people. I don't make fun of other people for it. If you were that entertaining on your own, the general public would watch you directly and not seek out reaction channels for their entertainment.
Anyway, Chantal is clearly very happy and thriving in Kuwait with her husband, as you can see. She's totally way happier than she was devouring wheelchairs and nashies in Kuwait. I'd be embarrassed if I had to live a lie just to try to prove people on the internet wrong. Whether you agree with what Chantal said about what's going on in the world right now or not, the way she smugly smirked, gave thumbs up, and mockingly said, thanks, and laughed while discussing it is exactly what I'd expect from Chantal. I hope you all have a great weekend and take a break from this mess if you need to. See you later, little gherkins. Pathetic. She's so fat, she's so gross, she will never find love. Pathetic. The only one who can love this woman is a good one.